Well, g'day, Van Fam, and welcome back to another episode. This week, we're in the Francois Perron National Park, and we're camping at the Big Lagoon Campground. I'll give you a little look of it behind me here. It's an interesting little campground. There was about a 10 kilometer soft sandy drive in. Which I'm which, glad you were doing. <laughs> which we made it through fine and unscathed. Uh, it was a for, bit whoopy. Except for the explosion of our um, soap. hand soap. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we have had a little bit of a disaster coming into Big Lagoon Campground. The soap dish has completely come off the wall and made a bit of a mess. But yeah, it's not too bad. You can get in as long as you lower your tie pressures. But yeah. the interesting thing about this campground is there's only like 12 sites and it doesn't work on a booking system. It's a first in, best dressed kind of a thing. So yeah. I can so imagine- you drive all this way and there's not enough sites. There's only 12 sites and six of them are probably the best for caravans. The rest of them are too small, but- So I think way... it would be hard to get into in the peak season. But luckily for us, we've come out here in Blovember. Oh, well, November. <laughs> That's what the locals have been calling it. But we've been spoiled. We've had some absolutely phenomenal weather for our stay here and we got lucky with our site as well yeah, we did we are camping with another family so you see some new faces in the video that's Davidge, Chloe, Bronte and Addie so without any more preamble let's get into this week's episode it's a good one Kids are sleeping. Davich and I are going to go for a walk and see if we can't catch something for dinner tonight. All right, we've just used the True Kit inflatable to just go for a run straight across from camp. Should have uh, received a fair bit less pressure over this side, is my thought process. So we're just going to go for a wander up the beach, cast some lures, and see if we can't find something. We'll have a look at that, guys. That is. A very good sign. First cast, we've got a nice little bar tail flatty. A little bit small, I'm going to put him back, but certainly off to a good start. Pretty happy with that. Send him back. Davich has had his first cast and he's on as well. How are we doing? Little cod, little codly. That is a nice little estuary cod. <laughs> two cast, two, two cast, two fish. This has gone way better than expected. Let's see if we can make it three from three. What a bloody morning for it. <laughs> wow. We are on guys. And we are on to a better fish. Yes, buddy. This is a good fish. Oh no, I think I just felt a hook pull. I am very nervous, come on. Come on, baby. Come to daddy. Come to sir. Just 
Still can't see anything yet. Don't know what we're dealing with. It's a freaking snapper, folks. It is a beautiful snapper. <laughs> wow. You've got to be kidding me. Have a look at that! Oh, my goodness guys, I did not come out expecting to pick up a beautiful big pink snapper like this. Can you look at this thing? What a stunning fish. So, when I cast it out I was a little bird's nest and I was just trying to untangle the bird's nest and then all of a sudden the line just started peeling and this is the result. We're gonna eat so well for dinner tonight. I can't believe this. Absolutely stoked. <laughs> uh, good morning, children. Good morning, Daddy. Good morning, sweetheart. What do you know? Mum's in bed, asleep. You awake, Mel? You gotta come outside. I caught dinner. What do you mean you caught dinner? I've caught dinner. <clears throat> Ta da! What are they? These are called pike. Pike? Are you excited for these? <laughs> sure. It's dinner, they're so. No, these are bait. I've got something else to show you. Yeah. <laughs> wow. This is dinner. <laughs> is that a Spanish. Is that a pink something? A Spanish snapper. Spanish snapper. <laughs> Look how it's a pink, big it is. Pink snapper. Ooh. Wow. And you caught that this morning? Yeah. While we were all sleeping? Yeah, <laughs> this little crazy estuary. Come with us, we'll go and we'll show Chloe because she's got to cook it. Let's show Chloe what she's cooking. Get that on. Here, Chloe. I want chocolate. Don't drip it all over the This, is what, you, this is what you're cooking for dinner. Holy moly. <laughs> That's huge. Isn't it? I brought the um, red carpet out for you. <laughs> the old fun. brag mat. I'll let you uh, stick it on. Might not fit on the bench, might have to do it on the ground. Whatever works. Oh baby, she's cracked the 70, that, <laughs> that's going to be a PB, 70 centimetre snapper, <laughs> out of an, out of an estuary of all bloody places, that's just crazy. All right, the only problem with catching such a big fish is I've got to process it as well. So I'm gonna do my best to try and do justice to this beautiful snapper and fill it up. I'm going to use a little trick that I learned from somebody before I take this whole side off. I'm going to flip it over and do all the main cuts on the other side first. So it's a lot harder to fill the fish when you take one side off, so this should make things a fair bit easier. Not that it's easy filleting such a big fish anyway. They've got such big scale snapper, it's hard to get cut through them.
Yeah, I'm not gonna lie and say that was easy, but I've got two beautiful looking peak snip snapper fillets here. Now I'm just gonna skin these guys and then I'm done. I'm handing these to Chloe and I don't have to touch them again. The fish is all prepared. Oh, have I mentioned that Chloe and Davich own a van cruiser family HDO as well? Here you go, Chloe. I don't want to see this again until it's dinner. Until it's fish tacos, you reckon? Yeah, fish taco sounds good to me. That's a good fillet. That's a lot of fish, isn't it? We won't be hungry. No. <laughs> awesome. All right, my two little feral animals, I've got pancakes for breakfast. Yes. Do you want pancakes? Yes! Three for you, monkey. Three for you, monkey. Two and the little one for you. Why don't you put your stupid Vegemite on the little one? No, put on the big one. <laughs> Three for me. All right, we're gonna smash a few pancakes and then we're gonna go out and explore Big Lagoon. Thank you, Daddy. Thank yeah. you, Daddy. Thank you for dinner. Yes, I mean breakfast. I mean breakfast. Yeah, I, I, I really Breakfast did. of champions. Yeah, yeah look how good oh, oh, I, 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 I will have to in a second. Two minutes, two minutes. All right. This is us, our own little private secluded beach to play on for the rest of the day. Who's happy about this? What's that, Mel? I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. We've even towed us a little sup along to play on, so this is going to be great. What a way to spend the day. First thing to do is set up the shade, and then the kids can play. Who's setting up the shade, Mel? Who's going to put the sand in? The kids. No, it's your You've got four children here, so you're just going to manage the four children. You can sit up now. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a hard life we live, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I don't know how we handle it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Big Lagoon's pretty cool, especially when you get days like this. Yeah, just chilling under the shade, kids are out in the water. Kids have been playing and having a ball. They've obviously built themselves a sandcastle. They are loving the stand-up paddleboard. Davich is out there holding a little bit of squid. He's just caught a squid out there. Actually, the fishing has been really good in here and surprisingly um, diverse. I'll roll a few of the clips of some of the things that we've caught now. Little shovel nose, but not what we're looking for. I'm gonna send him back.
spectacular cod out of this little estuary, isn't it? Sort of thing you might see five k's offshore. We've got a gullet on it. Anybody want to give him a pat before he goes home? Come on, Rocky. All right, guys, we've got uh, an interesting evening planned. What are we going to do, Dal? We're going to go to the artesian bars for a barbecue, and you're making me drive, which I hate driving on sand. <laughs> I know that you're trying to fix me, but I don't want to be like you. If you want to take it back to the 50s, maybe I'm not the guy for you. You're dying not to work, but work until you die, you know that's true. Have you thought it through? Because uh, you love to tell me what to do. Say no, I'm not like you, I don't think that you get it You should go, go and get out, I'll make you regret it ah, ah, ah. Someone like you should worry about Maybe your tools upside down And I'm not like you, I don't think that you get it ah, ah, ah. I don't wanna put on a smile, everybody expects me to So you can keep your suit and your tie, it gotta hope that it strangles you yeah, I do. You buy shit you don't need to impress the ones you hate that's so up. Cause everything you own just ends up owning you. So, dear society, you suck. <laughs> Say no! Four wheel drive, mom. How was that? I'm not driving home. You are. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a fan. Let's be honest. You did it. I did it, but I'm, I'm not a fan. Soft sand, and you nailed it. Oh. We didn't get bogged once. We got bogged twice. <laughs> no, we got bogged nuts. So here we are at Cape Perrin. This is like the Cape Perrin homestead. Did not expect to be having a hot bath tonight, to be honest. I haven't had a bath in like at least a year. <laughs> since so, Tasmania. <laughs> since Tasmania, which was a long time ago. So I'm very excited to get in and feel the goodness. Go and jump in. So the spa bar, oh sorry, the spa, the spa or the hot tub is fed by an artesian bore. It's apparently 540 meters deep and it is warm. It is warm, hot. Warm, warm. It is hot. And do you want to know the best part about this? I don't have to cook dinner. Guess who's cooking dinner tonight? Chloe and David. <laughs> How bloody good is this? I have a little secret to admit to you guys. There is nothing I like more than a hot tub and a beer. But I'm getting that here. Oh, heaven. Grudgingly, no, I've got to say, I'm so appreciative. Thank you very much for cooking dinner, Chloe. Have a look at this, folks. We have Moroccan spice, fresh self caught pink snapper, a lovely little salad to go with that, and some wraps. That's how they become the tacos. I tell you what, the free hot tub, 
just amazing. I can't believe this is something you can come to and it doesn't cost you anything, which we love. All I can say is put Big Lagoon and Francois Perron on your list because it's incredible. We're going to wrap up the vlog here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and we'll see you on the next adventure, hopefully. Bye, hopefully. Bye. <laughs> you never know. Yeah.